welcome back, folks. We have an exploding giant thing in our face. Oh, uh, that was a close one. Uh, I'm Chris, aka Dark Prince, and we're playing Lost Planet. And I am not quite sure how to get up there. Breaking the big door. I know you're like one of the early bosses, but can you please just die? in this one. Do you, that doesn't have any weapons on it. By the way, I have decided on a name for this one. This is going to be Marauder, because it reminds me of the Marauder battle suits in, um, the, the Marauder power armor in, um, Starship Troopers 3, which I don't necessarily recommend watching. The beginning and, um... Oh, you know what? The beginning and, uh, end of it aren't bad, but the, um... aren't too bad, I should say. The end is actually really cool. But the, um... You know what, screw it. Let's just go with Spider Tank. Cannon's really powerful, and a weapon that doesn't run out of energy. Or, and a weapon that doesn't run out of ammo. Let's just go with that. It's not like the chainsaw is going to be of any use to me. The only thing I would maybe want the, uh, the, the Marauder for is, um... the dash and uh, hover except the um, the um, spider tank has a hover anyway so whatever
And I seem to remember... Yep, here's the boss fight. And I seem to remember not needing another suit. I came in here with a spider tank the first time I played it, and... Oh boy. Oh my- oh jeez! Yeah, big, big, very, very big. Anyway, I seem to recall not needing another uh, BS when I came in here with spider tank, oddly enough. Oh yeah, one leg gone. I can't guarantee that's gonna happen because I have. Oh my gosh. Uh, I completely forgot this thing was a giant spider. I knew it was big, and I have. What hit me? Oh, it's growing back its leg! Oh no. I mean, I, I did kind of expect that, but... Oh, jeez, they're everywhere. Out of my way. every time I've reloaded. I totally need another V. I'm totally not going to make it with, two, with one V. so dumb. I gotta shoot his legs off before I can really hurt him, but I can't keep his legs in the crosshairs long enough to do it. Stop! Oh, wrong button. Gatling gun because Gat are doing very, very well. Pocket launcher.
Stop it! Let's see what double shotgun does. I, I think I'm done at this point. I don't know that I can uh, without a VS. I don't know that I can. Go ahead and kill me so I can restart. Stop it! Maybe I can kill him by blowing off his leg if I don't, uh, I mean, just from blowing off his leg. I don't know. That's assuming I don't run out of thermal energy first. We'll see. All in all, still a much, much better boss fight than the last one. Stop moving! Oh, I can kill him just like that. 
I can't believe it. I can't believe I won this. Well, mission complete. Let's move on to the next one. No target marks, of course. Joe sure put us through a whole lot of trouble. Lane, he's not here. What? When did he disappear? Nice try, but things like that will get you killed, brother. Bendero. I was curious. I had to see the latest harmonizer model for myself. Shut up! What a waste to give it to someone like you. There are far too many modified humans in this world for my taste. said anything about killing them. Change of plans. On whose authority? Yours? Eisenberg's plan was to keep them distracted while he started up the frontier system. The warming would bring about the end of the acred and transform this into a green paradise. Then when they saw the result, they would come to see the light. The only green fields you'll be seeing are the Elysian variety. What? Seeing as how nothing will be left alive on this rock once the frontier system is set into motion. All this talk of heating the planet is only after all life has been exterminated. That can't be. Now. Harbingers of a new tomorrow. A message for us officers. I'll let you listen to this one. For 150 years, colonists have endured the unpredictable conditions of this planet. Endless battles against the mysterious Acrid. The Separatists, who have formed the Snow Pirates and dog our every step with constant violence. But now, the Frontier System will deliver us from our tormentors. Clean energy will set it into motion and rid us of the Acrid and other unpleasant elements plaguing this world. The acrid eradication will also provide a release of thermal energy that will serve to heat the atmosphere. <laughs> Unpleasant elements. That must sting. While the system is running, we ask that you proceed to the orbital elevator and initiate the hibernation process. The facility there will protect you from the energy output by the system. Once the world has been terraformed, you will be the first to witness the verdant utopia that looks awaits. good. Well, Rick. Hmm. It looks like it'll do. Well, I'll make it do. In the end, this third of the colonial planets will be transformed into a paradise, welcoming colonists from our polluted home planet with open arms. The valuable resources lying untapped, hidden under layers of ice, will not only bring prosperity to Nevik, but to the human race. We are the pioneers exploring the wonders of this brave new world. Hey, you better be listening to this. It's time to proceed to the orbital elevator. Enjoy a pleasant rest. We will soon meet again, brave pioneers. Heard enough? We are near the time of our parting. How is everyone trapped? I'm sorry. It won't happen again.
feeling the effects. My memory loss is probably related to this. What? Basil filled me in. Thank you. I can understand you being upset. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. But you were betrayed too. And I'm sorry you had to feel what we felt. Anyway, more than having trouble with forgiving you for dragging Wayne into that trap, I'm having trouble understanding why you did it. Anyway, it's all water under the bridge now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll make it up to you somehow. I see. So that's what was going on. You believe me? Of course. Why wouldn't I? Well, I could hardly believe it myself when I first heard it. Well, it's hard to swallow, but I trust you. Oh. Commander. What? We still have time. I'll guide you to the orbital elevator. Luca, can I have a moment with Joe? It's all right. It took everything I had to stop myself from saying giggity there. <laughs> What's with the serious face? I never knew that the Frontier system would eradicate all life on the planet when it was put into motion. I really only wanted to rid this world of the acred. Trust me. I believe you. You do? Now, you do? How do we reach the elevator? Oh, yeah. There's a shortcut. It's a quick route, <clears throat> but it'll take us straight through an acrid hive. I know how the acrid behave. I can guide us so that we avoid as many of them as possible. We're counting on you. First things first. Let's get through the hive. Once we're through, we can worry about the rest of the journey. Okay. Oh man, big cutscene out the way. Uh, what's around? There's a VS. This is good. There's other equipment. This is also good. Not any more of those rough starts like last couple of levels. That being said, if this is the mission I think it is... Oh boy. Oh no. Scorpion! Scorpion! Oh, there's Nevik fighting down there, I think. Either way, double gat the old standby No kidding Oh ow I'm totally about to lose my VS because there's way too many of these things. And I don't have anything but Gat, and Gat will not stun lock people. Not like a shotgun. Really. Oh, jump!
Kinda of messed up when a boss becomes a regular enemy. Got a new VS waiting for me down that tunnel. Ready. My hover wing is all busted up. What's that? Yes, Marauder. We have rocket launcher, grenade launcher, Gatling gun. No, 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 no. Out. I do not want you blowing up and messing and destroying my shotgun and Gatling gun. Grenades. Ready. Who's that? More shotgun, yes! I am all ammoed up right now. Only thing that's gonna make me better right now is uh plasma gun. That's more rocket launcher out there.
kind of wish I got to use a grenade launcher more often than I do because it's a really good weapon. Why are you not dead yet? What's this? Rocket launcher. No care for rocket launcher. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the mission I'm thinking. Oh, not those things. Oh, giant man. Oh, jeez. Oh, for a second I thought I turned the thing on where it wasn't going to turn off. Actually, I think I might know how to do that, how to turn it on and off, other than the quick swipe. Whatever, as long as there's just one of them. Great! More shotgun ammo. Starting to run low. Laser rifle, not really interested.
Oh my gosh! Stop! Go away! Annoying flies! Was I close enough for that to work? And I have no. I've got nothing. I've got a lot of. Um... I have nothing now. I have no infantry weapons to speak of. I'm in big trouble now. I might have to just take the uh, BS weapon as a human, which is bad because I can't dodge roll. Not that I do much of that. Oh. So not good. Oh, okay, much, much better. I feel much better now. Gat. Double gat because forget rocket launcher. But might as well get some use out of it. else worth shooting. This still provides me with an issue because I have only the rocket launcher now. If I lose this VS, I'm in trouble. How are you getting to the other side of the hive? Why can't I go with you? Oh boy. Okay, good. There's some infantry weapons laying around and two extra VSs. But we're going to cut the episode off here, and as we'll jump into our boss fight in the next episode. I'll see you then. And I bid you farewell.